we're going to pack up your awning now and we're going to do the same thing we just discussed but in reverse. So go over to your awning leg, pop it nice, pop it down, Oops. tighten it off, lift up your awning arm and slide it back into place. Same with the other side. Lift up and slide it beautifully into place. Once that, those legs are on, we go back over to your, your arm and you just do this in reverse. Really quick and easy, quite seamless really. Away. It's time to um, pop your door away and there's a couple of things you need to do to prep yourself to start with. So just undo one side each of your clips, undo all of your butterfly clips, undo these as well up the top here, undo all of these also and slide your hand inside here to just release the velcro that's holding the door from the other side. So once you've released the velcro here, you can now just lift the base of the door, the, the top of the door up and it actually releases quite easily. You're lifting it up and pushing the back, the door back into this spot here so you can see that it's actually moving up closer to the roof of the van. And one by one, you can just pop the door braces on. Release all three sides of the canvas. Once you've done that, you can kind of lift it up and over. inside the actual mattress. We'll go on in and we'll take off the, um, the stability arm. So the stability arm just comes off automatically by itself. You can just release it. Usually I just throw it underneath the mattress just so when you're traveling to and from it doesn't get bent or damaged. So once we've done that and we've um, started to pack up the inside of the van, it's just really easy just to pull close the tension of your stability of your leg, pull out the pin and do the same with the base. Just pull the pin out and release the legs. Once that's done, you can now start to push the actual bed. a lot of creases on the canvas. So come on in. So once it's actually in here, it's really super easy. Just to pull off the canvas up. You can start by doing your corners. down you'll actually see that it will eliminate a lot of the creases because the bed will actually the roof will actually just come straight down on top of it. We're almost ready to um, start winding the, the roof down but don't forget your, um, your little covers that are on your um, four arms just make sure that you release it before you start winding it down because you will bend them. Once that's done, you need to grab your Velcro 
and actually push it behind your arm. That way it doesn't get stuck while you're winding your roof down. Get your awning out of the arm again. somebody to go around and just push the canvas inside and on top of all of the, the bedding. Just to make sure that when the roof does come down, it comes down nicely and there's no canvas that's going to get stuck. extremely important. This gives all the tension to your caravan. So please, when you actually are winding your roof down, keep an eye on this cord at all times. Before you're almost ready to close, just make sure that your door is in its close position and you've got your extra latch here. This extra latch here has actually been put just in case you get any um, wind that comes up behind your door um, while you're travelling. This way you won't get the door pulled off by the, by the wind. it's a really good idea to have somebody helping you so you can continue doing Obviously, if these are a little bit too loose, you can tighten them up ever so slightly. You ready to start pitching up? 